Hello everyone, this is Sundar, developer of Catherine, and in this video I'd like to quickly take you through some of the new features in the new re-released 1.3 version of Catrain. First thing you'll notice when starting the program is the graphics for the stones on board have been improved. This is to contribute thanks to contributions from Numits123 who supplied the graphics for this. Also thanks to Jordan Seward for supplying the sound files which are now placed played and placing stones. Next thing you'll notice is that the strength of the IAS is now indicated next to its name. In addition, a new AI, Kata Handicap, has been implemented, which uses the player doubling advantage feature in Katago to play more aggressively in handicap games. It essentially assumes its opponent is weaker and its health and will play trick moves, let's say, at a very high level. The other AIs have also been improved to have improved uh, in user interface for configuring them. The easily to understand features are now at the top and call it lighter. And when you change them in the newly implemented slider system, you can see their estimate of rank changing here. Your experience with the strength may vary a bit, especially with the ones who have very specific styles but you should be able to see how much a setting affects rank and adjust them accordingly. The other settings are still to be considered somewhat advanced. Although they do affect strength, this will not be reflected in the settings up here. Next, we have the support for the popular TIGEM Kibo file format. You can now load these the load game interface or use drag and drop as usual. As we see our game being loaded here, we could have a quick look at some of the new analysis features. Firstly, you can request a deeper full game analysis. So after loading your SGF with a fast or slow analysis and you find that you want to have a deeper analysis or auto-generated SGF, you can request all the moves in the game to be analyzed to a specific number of visits, let's say 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000. And simply go have a cup of tea, come back, and enjoy an in-depth analysis of your game. Secondly, you can notice that there is a rank graph which estimates the playing strength at every 80 move interval. In this case, you can see white has played a very good end game whereas black has played slightly weaker than white, but also played a very good end game. Um, I hope this is useful for estimating your strengths and weakness throughout the game, despite being still based on a very rough statistical model. Next, in the analysis feature, we have toggle continuous analysis. This works a bit like the pondering mode in Lizzie where the analysis of the game is continuously improved. So if you go here and to this point in the game, we can see what the best move was instead of this 12 points loss move, which is simply to connect here. You can also see that top move is now more clearly indicated. This is a much requested feature. And although I would prefer to consider all dark green moves the same, I realize that especially very strong players you want to know what the top suggested move by the engine is very clearly. Also, you may have noticed when double clicking on a move, you now go one move further back, essentially going to the point where you can consider alternatives to the moves you clicked on. This was because it was a very common use case analysis to want to do this. Well, that wraps it up for most of the new features in the 1.3 version. I hope you enjoy them, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them on this video or on the GitHub site. Enjoy!